few years ago I started a new hobby and it's painting and this is one of my pieces right here. This is a collage of sketches that I made when I, we were working on a chair development project. Peter will come in closer, you'll get the idea. All the sketches have been dyed and glazed and uh, these lines here indicate the, the uh, chair families. Like this is one, one family of chair styles, another family up here, another family over here. Let me show you another painting. This painting is about our Ella table. While we were developing the Ella, when we made the first ones, I made this painting and it, it shows the, you know, the arc of the leg, the piece. These are top views of leg orientation. This is kind of a little technical drawing about what's under the table. This is a 54 inch square painting done in acrylics. It's another one over here, this big blue painting. When we were working on our ply shell chairs, I made this painting. It's actually an impossible chair because if you made a chair like this and it got that skinny, it would break off. But that doesn't matter in a painting. What else do we have in here? This is a collage that's made um, from printing an image on paper. This is all the same in image. Here it is in small scale and here it is in the largest scale. And this is paper that's been dyed and glazed and wrinkled and manipulated into this collage of this pretty lady here. This painting is the same subject and the same technique using um, acrylic dye as the colorant. And there's a, a sister piece across the room over here with slightly different coloration. This is a large painting, abstract, and kind of a collage. I actually made three separate paintings. I made one painting that looks like this, and then I made a strange watercolor painting with this, these techniques, and then I cut them all up and put them back together in this, in this array. There's another painting over here with a furniture theme. These are all sketches of upholstery, sofas, couches. Little pencil sketches that have been dyed and kind of folded and wrinkled and stuff. And then I, I labeled them all from 1 all the way down to 30. And then you'll notice there's some red X's and there's some items circled. I was trying to express the idea of uh, editing through and iterating um, design, you know, crossing out the bad ones and circling the good ideas, putting products into families. This is one of the first paintings I, I've ever made and it has technical drawings, old technical drawings of furniture that come from the Gardner area and those have been manipulated and dyed and it's got a contemporary composition um, this is part, to me, this is a kind of trying to save part of the history of where we make furniture, but to bring it alive and make it uh, a modern idea.